what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Designing with Adobe XD. My name is Michael Wong and in this video I'm going to show you how to start wrapping up your project so you've got your design, you've got your prototype and you're ready to share it online. So whether it be potential users, your team or potential stakeholders, you want to start getting feedback from them so you can also iterate and update your designs. So let's jump right in. We've got our designs as you can see here. And if we click into prototype, we've also linked them all up already. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead to the top right corner and hit the share online icon. We we'll simply click that and this will allow us to set a title for this project. Let's say it's for Music Masters. We can also drag in a thumbnail. So I've also made a quick thumbnail. The size is recommended by 120 by 120. You can also allow comments. I would highly recommend you to allow comments just so your users and your team can also leave comments on designs to give you feedback. And what we can do is we can hit create link. So we will have to wait a couple of seconds. So it's done. So Adobe will provide you a link to preview your designs. They will also allow you to embed an iframe on your web page. So you could be embedding this prototype on your portfolio or also a blog article. I think it's great to have a click through a prototype as static images can be quite dull. So let's go back to our link let's, and let's see what the preview mode looks like. So let's click on. Awesome. So I can see Adobe XD has brought through the, the title, has also brought through the thumbnail and now you can access your prototype from the browser. So you can click through the marketplace. Beautiful. So in the top right corner, the two icons, you can access full screen mode by clicking the arrow icon. To exit the full screen mode, simply click escape on your keyboard. And what I love is the comment section. So by clicking the show comments icon, you can leave comments. So let's say we want to, let's make, maybe we want to leave a comment saying to darken the overlay. So let's say darken overlay. You can click on the pin to artboard icon and pin that comment onto the design so it gives it context. So as you can see, it's from Michael Wong, the owner, We've got the comment. You can also reply to the comment. This is solved and completed. Thank you. That's added. So once you've replied to a comment and you've attended to the feedback, you can simply click resolve and it's all done and disappears. You can also view resolved comments by clicking the view resolved comments button just so you can keep track of all the updates that you have made. So that's it for this video. If you've got any questions about how to share your designs online or leaving comments, don't forget to leave your questions in the comments below. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and also subscribe.